sponsored by Arzopa. Hey there, content creators. Today, I'm super excited to introduce you to a tool that's been making waves in the AI design world. Recraft V3. If you're familiar with Canva, and if even if you're not, you're going to love this platform because it takes things up a notch with its cutting edge AI image generation capabilities. What is Recraft V3? So Recraft V3 is a new model from Recraft and it originally came out as Red Panda. You can see here, it produces pretty beautiful looking images. And this one here is in 16 by nine aspect ratio. As you can see, we can get at least a couple of images from each prompt. And the images here are quite large. This is 1820 by 1024. So the aspect ratios, you can change those. You can change quite a lot of things. It is just one of a number of models that you can use. I think we can actually bring up the other models. So we can choose Recraft 20B. You can introduce your own styles. We can use some of the other styles here. Now the model has got pretty standout performance, giving it the highest score in the arena over at uh, artificial analysis. It's got 72% win ratio. And that's putting it ahead of all the other models that they tested here. So that's a pretty impressive win rate. And apparently it also has a pretty decent cost uh, and performance rating as well. We take a look at the quality ELO ratings. You can see that it is beating the other ones by I think a significant amount and doing better than Flux 1.1 Pro. Key features. The key features are pretty much geared towards content creation, towards design and flexibility. So it has the feel of something like Canva. One thing I really find amazing, you've got different projects, so you can change the projects, project that already exists. Let me just see if I can find one of my other projects. Let's see if we can go to this guy here. So you, you, you get this initial image, you get this initial canvas where you can actually create images and you also have some instructions in the background as well. So you've got an infinite canvas, which is something that we've seen before in some of the previous videos. And this is something which is very easy to work with. I'm just going to hold down the space bar and you can see the kind of images that we can create. You can add text to images. So you're creating a YouTube thumbnail or something like that, or something to go on, uh, on Twitter or some other marketing platform. You can easily add text when you've created your image, you can edit the text. So this one here, let's change it to something a little bit more fitting for this little cute dog here. So let me see. So I'm going to change it to Irish Grover and that's a little bit more fitting for this, for this dog here. I think that's a little bit more what little puggy feels like. Now you can add text and you also can edit images as well. So there's a lot of editing tools here. And if you've used Photoshop, you've used Canva, you can kind of almost instantly tell what these images, what these tools can allow you to do. You've got the selection tool, erase, cut, and we've got different modes as well. So this is Lino cut. And when you get these two images that uh, it creates, let's take a look at one of the styles that I created. So Sherlock Holmes with a deer stalker hat. I'm not sure that's what deer stalker hat actually looks like, but this is one of the best renditions that I've seen of Sherlock Holmes. And this is using a kind of illustration style. So we can actually come here. I think we can go here. And it's got photorealism. I'm not sure exactly which uh, version I use, but it wasn't just photorealism. Anyway, let's just cancel out there. This one is photo re photorealistic for real. And you can see it gives us two versions. Now, this is something I've had problems with in the past with a stable diffusion where it doesn't do pipes. It doesn't know what a pipe is. And uh, I've asked it to do a pipe with some smoke and it's produced a lot of smoke. And again, the Deerstalker hat is almost accurate, not completely accurate, but the, the texture, we can actually just zoom in, I think. Let's see. You can see the realism there. It is amazingly realistic. And the hands and the fingers, they look amazing as well. They look realistic. I like the photographic texture as well. You can see that kind of bokeh happening in the background. So really nice images. And I can see why this came top of the league. Another really nice feature is the ability to customize the colors. So that's Sherlock Holmes. Let's go up and look at 
this one here. So this one here is using customized colors. And if I just zoom in, you can see we've got a beautiful, what was the, a cute brunette teenage French girl with a pug in a luxurious library. And we've got two versions. I like this one. Again, the fingers look fantastic. The face, everything just looks natural. It looks photorealistic. We're using photo real again, but also we're using specific colors. I asked it to use these colors and it did a fantastic job just incorporating the colors into the design. We can also do text. Text is done very well inside of this model. You can see the Recraft V3. This is Candyland with a bright blue sky. And also you can create something that I don't think I've seen before, maybe just in Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator. You can create vector images. So if I want to create a vector image, we can go ahead and do that. This is one of the vector images and we can actually export this as an SVG. So you can export it as a vector design. It's pretty straightforward to, to convert it to a vector. So we can just right click and choose vectorize and that will turn something into vector. And we can turn it back into a raster image as well. This is one of my regular prompts. It's a cute steampunk mechanical pug. And it looks as good pretty much as any other that I've tested. Maybe Stable Diffusion does this a little bit better. Maybe Ideogram as well. But it's pretty good as it is. How to use Recraft. Live demo. Let's create a simple image. We'll click on image and we can set the aspect ratio. Let's choose, should we choose 16 by nine? Oh my God. And let's try prompts, very simple prompt. Let's create a hummingbird. And uh, we can create different settings. So we can make it photorealistic. Maybe let's try grain. Let's apply that. And then we can go ahead and you can fine tune the, some of the settings up here. I think you can also do negative prompts as well. Let's choose some colors. Let's choose this guy here. And then if we just hit recraft, it will run slowly if you're on the free version. But if you've got the paid version, that speeds things up. So we get two images and we can select which, whichever one we like. And you can see the, the grain setting that I chose absolutely has been applied. And then if we want to, we can, for instance, resize it. We can go ahead and choose text and add some text if I want to. So we've added some text It's looking good. And we can also go to the image. We can change it even at this stage. And let's go and fine tune, see how that works out. Let's choose this image here and see if we can change this somehow. So I've asked it to change from a hummingbird to parrot, a little bit similar. I did it initially and it was a little bit too similar, so it didn't produce too much change. But reducing the similarity allows me to get the parrot that I want. So it's got the same kind of feel to it and the same kind of composition, but a different look altogether. And that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We just need to change the text and this ability to play around with the text is something that I think is really nice because I think having to go into another piece of software to change the text is not at all, not at all ideal, but we can just do it inside of this software and that's going to save a ton of time. Why choose Recraft? Now they've got a very detailed uh, description of how everything works together and one of the things that they really are very confident about is the ability to do text generation. And it's possible to do things that I haven't even seen yet. They've got a love for the ability to create hu the human form, as you can see here, fairly, fairly good, not too much artifacting going on. And the limbs are fine. They look okay. And you can create beautiful women with fish flowing around them. So the ability to handle detailed descriptions and also to produce aesthetically looking uh, detail to aesthetically looking results, aesthetically beautiful results. So I have a little bit more work to do in terms of the text because you can see that there's a lot more that you can do here. So there's a lot to discover. And I think from the things that we've seen so far, I think that the, the ability to work with text is a big one because I don't want to leave I don't want to leave the platform or the canvas in order to, to put some text in, in there. 
And that's something which I really like about this one. I know that Canva has got something similar, but this is more geared towards really high quality AI, whereas I think Canva is still catching up in that. I'm thinking that I'll put Parrot Boy in some of the other designs on Instagram if you want to take a look at them. Conclusion. You get 50 free credits every day, which is enough to really kind of test the abilities of the platform. And it is able to produce images that are completely fantastic as well. This is something that I borrowed from someone's prompt on a different site. And this ability to do photorealistic and also fantasy and vector, that's something so far that I find unique. And the ability to work with color like this, I believe you can do this also with Playground. They've got a lot of new features in Playground version 3, but you have to pay for it in version 3 where you can play around with it for free here inside of, inside of Recraft. If you haven't tried it yet, I highly recommend giving Recraft a shot. You can start with their free plan, which gives you 50 credits per day. Plenty to experiment with before deciding if you want more advanced features. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more tips and ideas for content creators and more tools like uh, Recraft version 3. I'll see you guys next time. Hey tech lovers, meet the Arzoba Z1RC, your best in portable monitors. With its brilliant 2.5K QHD resolution and best of class 500 nits of brightness, you're getting unparalleled visuals for work and play. Enjoy true to life colors with 100% sRGB coverage, all in a sleek, lightweight, portable design. You need flexibility? The Z1RC delivers with the dual USB-C and mini HDMI ports, making it the perfect companion for any device, Mac, Windows, and the best part? You get all this top tier performance without breaking the bank. Upgrade your display game with the Arzopa Z1RC today.